edition with Deborah Norville. Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us. This is cup stacking. First started about 25 years ago by some kids who were horsing around. It is now a competitive sport. As April Woodard reports, it's pretty much played the way you'd think it would be. This is called stacking, and that's exactly what these students at the Maryland State Tournament are doing. They're stacking cups, but in a very specific way. This is one of those sports in which if someone tells you about it, then you won't believe it. If you see it, then you really don't believe it. Stacking calls for you to stack the cups in different formations. One formation is three cups, six cups, then three cups. And how about this for teamwork and coordination? Gwendolyn and Akira lock arms and stack. 12-year-old Nate Floria of Colorado Springs is a stacking world champion and demonstrated his technique. The students are almost obsessive about the sport. Parents say they practice constantly at home. So much so, Jada Tompkins' little one-year-old sister, Jersey, has started playing with miniature cups. At least it's quiet. 8,300 American schools participate in cup stacking. Like things fast? Sign up for Comcast High Speed Internet for just $19.99 a month for six months. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. Sports stacking, ever heard of it? Wait till you see how it's really done. These are pros. Next. It's a race against time of which these 14-year-old super stackers make look like a cup of tea. I've been doing it for about 10 years, so, but it doesn't take very long to get good at this. This sports craze practiced in over 10,000 schools nationwide. Anyone can try. Giants wide receiver Amani Toomer, fast hands, and retired New York Jet Wayne Crevet, short-handed. So how do the pros stack up with the world record holders in this speedy sport of eye-hand coordination? You're gonna have to judge for yourself. World record holder Kit, fast as lightning. Crevet, I'll give an A for effort. As for Tumor, break out the sundial. Well, the kids definitely took us to school today. They could try the Masters Division, I guess, to try and break a record there. <laughs> so for the old guys, uh, the Masters Division. Yep, <laughs> yeah, for the old guys. <laughs> but in the end, practice makes perfect. In Manhattan, Marvell Scott, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Zo, die is goed met bekers, maar wij zijn ook heel goed. Een malse gemarineerde stukken kipfilet in een zachte tortilla. Onze twister, tijdelijk voor maar 2,95 euro. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we know what to do with chicken. Welcome to Cold Pizza. For Thursday, October 27th, I'm Dana Jacobson. And I'm Jay Crawford. All right, there's a lot of noise in the studio this morning because this was known as cup stacking, now officially called sport stacking. The cups they use are speed stacks. This is Kit Fox and Allison Zick, both 13. They're world champions, world-class sport stackers. They're stacking away here. I mean, they're flying. I don't know. Look at this guy. All right, Jay and I are going to learn this a little later on. Maybe I can finally beat Jay at something. I doubt it, but maybe. Jay? That might be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that is stunning. <laughs> I can't get enough of that, and I can't wait to talk to those guys. Okay, stackers ready, get set, go. Stackers ready, I love All that. Right. Jay, I feel no, like no. you're not actually. Oh, it's almost there. Uh -oh. No, no, you have to. All right. <laughs> oh! Wait, wait, wait. Technically, Jay scratched. So, so I beat him! That's not right. That's not <laughs> Guys, right. Thank you Stackers so much. ready. We'll, uh -oh. we'll keep going in the commercial break.